What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday and welcome back to some more eFootball content. We are taking a look at the club selection today, the eFootball Championship Volume 2, to be precise. Now, look, they have released a lot of cards that are similar to these player versions before. You've had like a load of versions of Casemiro, Goretzka, Jesus, Barella. There's been a load of versions of these. So we're going to go through the kind of the main ones. We will be doing player guides on the main kind of eight here. Um, because I do think that there are some very interesting ways to train these guys because of the player levels and because of the base stats that they have. But a lot of these cards are extremely similar to the standard version of the card, right? We'll get into that in a future video on the training guides, when we're especially when we're taking a look at the likes of Casemiro um, and, and Barella and players like that. But yeah, look, there are some good players in here. And the reason they're releasing these players is because of the contract renewal situation uh, with the game. So I think that that's kind of the biggest thing is that a lot of people over the next two to three weeks are going to have players going out of contract that have been playing the game for for ages i'm going to do a video on it it will be up either tomorrow or the next day um so we can have a discussion about that um and we'll discuss it on the live stream on thursday as well but we are going to kick off here and obviously if you are a newcomer you're going to want to get these versions of the cards uh because you've never had a chance to spin from before if you've been playing the game for a while the standard versions or else other versions do stack up extremely similar obviously the biggest difference with these ones is they've got a higher player level or else a higher base overall to start off with so we will go through that and as i said i will be doing in-depth player guides for probably the top six players on this pack as well so starting us off we've got embolo this guy is kind of a traditional uh stereotypical center forward he's got pace he's got good player skills and he's got fairly average to to I would say to fairly, yeah, fairly average finishing when you stack up and you train up his progression points, right? He's got C rating, he's got track back, he's got long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, and he does have standard form, but he does have super sub, which is always important. Now, as far as I know, every version of this card has super sub, and this guy was on a hidden gem series of mine. He is pretty decent. I played with him towards the towards the start of the the eFootball 22 campaign and he is pretty decent but the problem is is the problem with a lot of players like this now is that there's so many epic players out there that you know you genuinely are going to find it hard to get this guy into a squad obviously if you're playing you know a lower uh, rated squad like if you are just deliberately trying to play with really good players that are like four star instead of five star players then I, you know he is a good option like we can see him tracked up here uh, he does go to a 90 overall. I will do a training guide on this guy because he's quite interesting. He is fairly tall. He's fairly strong. He's a goal poacher. He does have that super sub, as I said, which is very overpowered since the last update. Speed and acceleration, physical contact, and offensive awareness are all in the 80s. And then his finishing is 77. Not bad. He's not He's not a bad card at all. Uh, I genuinely think that he could be better. But yeah, I mean, these, these cards are very balanced, I would say. Um, we also have Handanovic just to get through him, because they always throw in a goalkeeper or two, and this guy, you can see he's had multiple versions here, all the different versions, you can just hover over here on eFootballDB.com, but this guy's reach and acceleration and catching are probably his three main stats, and they're just too low, I think that a goalkeeper, in order, even if you're starting off, you need to have your goalkeeper that is at least a 90 in one, if not two stats, or as close to 90 as possible, and I would probably say that reflexes is still the king stat to have if you're having that as your main kind of like, you know, decision maker uh, or tiebreaker and how you decide what goalie to use, I would say concentrate on reflexes. You're going to concede stupid goals. Your goalkeepers are going to pull off worldies um, and you're going to make silly mistakes. So it's just kind of pick your poison with a lot of the goalkeepers with the way the gameplay is at the moment. Um, so that is the two boys there. We also have Balotti and Revec. This guy is fairly decent. I will do a player guide on him. He is from AC Milan. He's a good player. He's got some really good uh, player skills. Again, you can see there that he has got super sub. Um, you, he's got fighting spirit. He's got track back. He's also got long range curler and long range shooting as well as chop turn and scissors faint. So it's fairly decent card if you are looking for a traditional kind of not like massively pacey winger, but somebody that's able to play on the ball a little bit as well. Um, because when we max him out here, he goes to a 93 overall, 90 speed, 81 balance. Offensive stats are very high, including dribble and ball control and time possession. And then the acceleration is 89. So he's not bad. I mean, obviously the big key highlight for these cards 
are the 90 team play style. If the standard versions of these cards don't have that, so it does take up a couple of extra points. But you can see there that his standard version starts off at a 76 with 34 levels to go. This guy starts off at an 80 with 34 levels to go. So this is the best version of him that they have released thus far. Um, and then obviously you throw in the team play style. Like it's a, it does transform this card into like somebody that's like, you know, you wouldn't really look at somebody that you could actually use in a mid to end game squad. So that is just something to keep an eye on if you are looking to build in a specific squad. We also have Bellotti here. He starts off at an 80 overall. Again, he's just kind of a traditional center forward. You're not going to get the passing and the, or the dribbling and the shooting up as high as you possibly need to make him, you know, kind of like a meta style player. 90 overall, but to be honest, there's a lot of wasted, ca wasted calories there, I was going to say. Wasted stats there. 91 offensive awareness is good, um, but he's not tall enough to be a target man. Uh, and even though he has some nice player skills, such as heading and acrobatic finishing, a first time shot, I don't think he's getting in anybody's squad, lads, genuinely. But again, look, you have 34 levels with a 76 standard card. You've got 25 levels. So there's a big difference in some of the cards, man. Um, you can see there, he's got 25 levels, but he's an 80 overall. This guy has got 34 levels with a 76 overall. So the standard card is actually better here in this case, and it's only 32,000 GP. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are building a squad. So that's the first four players. We also have Benacar. Benacar, Benacar and um, Fafana to go through as well. Uh, these, these guys are very kind of similar. One's obviously more defensive and they've got like good player skills for that. But this guy's got standard form, track back interception, one touch pass, sliding tackle and double touch. So he's a bit of a baller and he's able to break up a bit of play as well. I actually quite like him because he's got very high defensive stats just straight off the rip. Um, if you are looking for somebody that can, you know, mix it around a little bit and again this guy has got really good passing really good dribbling he's actually got everything that you could possibly want in a player including dexterity which brings up his acceleration quite high which we'll see in a second but yeah for me i think it's all about kind of the defendant here with this guy and the passing he's kind of like tonali um which makes sense his teammate but yeah he's an interesting choice to have because of the player skills with the double touch the one touch pass and interception those three are a potent mix, lads, because he's got 90 aggression, he's got 80 speed, 80 acceleration, 88 stamina, 88 low pass, and 86 tight possession. This is one of the best, like, cards, I would say, in terms of, like, just complete, like, overall, I would say. Like, he can play any position across the middle um, and do it well. You know, you can sit on the ball and dribble with him, you can break up play, or else you can just be a pass master. Now, this version of the card is 26 levels. The AC Milan pack, I think, is slightly better because of his defensive stats and his boost to speed. You can see there that this card is pretty much identical to the one we're looking at, this AC Milan club pack. So if you missed out on that, um, I think that... This definitely is a beast of a card to get. Similarly with Fafana, who obviously plays for AS Monaco. This guy's got insane stats as well. Really, really good stats and really, really good uh, player skills. He actually has 33 levels and he is a box to box. There's a lot of players that are box to box at the moment. And, you know, we will do a training guide on him. Obviously, there's different ways that you can train him up as you're looking at here. But I think for, for this guy as a box to box, you do have a couple of key decisions to make because he's got really good engine on him. He's got really good pace. They've kind of balanced the game in a, in a very similar way to how it was I think with Pez 2021, where they've placed a lot of importance on certain key stats, and there's a reason for that, which we will get into in the training guides. We also, to go through quite quickly, we have Rafinha. We already covered him, so I'm not going to cover him again. You know what you're getting with Rafinha, lads. I mean, even the passing here, or the pace and the dribbling, um, to bring that up to 80 and then get that up to 90, and then the rest is going to be dribbling. You're going to get that, uh, you know, that tripod of stats, dribbling, speed, and acceleration over 90. I have a full training guide going to be coming out on him, but he's had loads of versions, um, including that Brazil pack, which had 23 levels. This pack has 23 levels as well. Um, and the only difference between those, those two cards was this Brazil pack has less dribbling, but more speed. And this card has better dribbling, um, but more speed or less speed. So, you know, it's kind of, again, very, very similar. And it, the standard cards are kind of like worse with better player levels, right? We also have Pellegrini. This guy is a very, very good attacking midfielder. Um, he's got good stats in shooting, which is obviously a little bit unique. Passing is exceptional as well. It goes up to 90. And then obviously the dribbling is going to go high as well, which is nice. Doesn't have the greatest engine on him, but still has that pace to be able to get through 
um, and be able to, you know, dominate a little bit. He does go to a 95 overall when you train him. That way, we will have a training guide on him as well. But it's the stats that you're looking at there, all in the 80s and 90s, and then the player skills, one-touch pass, true pass, and weighted pass, no-look pass, low loft the pass. I mean, if you can't pass with this guy, then it might be time to, to go and play Minecraft or something. <laughs> I don't know, man. This guy's stats are insane. His player skills are insane. And he does track up very similarly to the Italian pack that they released before. Um, all these cards are very similar, lads. All these cards, like this guy's got 28 levels, the Italian pack at 30 levels, and this guy has 25 levels. So they've tried to balance the cards extremely well. And I think they've done a good job of that, especially for newcomers. Because if you're jumping in playing the game after, you know, never playing it, compared to a guy that's been building a squad for a year, you do get a chance to kind of like, you know, level the playing field very, very quickly and very easily. We also have Zinchenko here as well. Zinchenko is going to be a player that I definitely take a look at uh, quite soon. I would say that he is probably worth spinning for if you are looking for a very complete player. Now, a lot of people have said to me with Zinchenko that his best role is to actually play as a center back or a center midfielder, right? I think that that's probably a good shout because of his base stats in everything. Like, you've pretty much got everything that you could possibly want here in Zinchenko. Um, and everything is kind of fairly key. Like, and like you don't need to go too massively overpowered with his stats because, obviously, if you're playing him as a center mid, you're going to have a mix of everything. You know, he's going to be, you know, a really, really solid player um, that can get up and down the flank. He's going to be somebody that's able to... Uh, I won't say dominate other players, but he is definitely somebody that you can that you can carry into any squad. His standard form, but A rating is huge this week as well. If you're looking, especially if you're an Arsenal fan. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, there is a lot of better centre midfielders than him. Now he does go to when we train him up here. He goes to a 92 overall when we train him that way. Um, I would say that that's more of a defensive because he is a fullback finisher. I do think you need a couple of more defensive stats there. But, you know, probably nine stats into that is probably overkill. So you could uh, train it up a little bit different if you want to just give him a little bit more of an engine there. Um, and then obviously bring that jump up a small bit as well. But yeah, he's a fairly decent player. I'd be fairly happy if I, if I spawn him. You can spin for all of these players. So... Uh, if you you know want to keep going and like until you get somebody, then that's fairly okay. Now Luke Shaw is an interesting one, right? Because <clears throat> they did release a centre back version of Luke Shaw it was a player of the week, and I think that was the best card that they had released of him. But this guy is quite decent because he's got blocker and interception as a left back, which is very unique. He's also got pinpoint crossing and fighting spirit and speeding bullet as a play style. And when he trains up, he trains up into become quite a beast. Now I will I won't say it, look. There's a lot of these cars that you can kind of carry. Like, and what I mean by carry is that if they are a favorite player of yours, you know, they're not going to make too many mistakes, I don't think, um, you know, in defense or in attack. It's all how you kind of set them up in your squad. And at the same time, you know, you're going to have a player here that's extremely well built, extremely well solid um, across the board. And if you are looking to play him, then it's obviously going to be something that you look at is to like how you want to play him like with blocker and interception I think you need to be playing him as a very solid defensive fullback but his play style is an offensive fullback so I do think that even with those two there you are going to have to manually defend with him which makes him slightly harder to use than some other left backs or right backs or full backs if you're playing a back three um so it is it is interesting to see how he's going to operate um in that role if you are playing him there we also have jesus there's been multiple cards of him as well uh, including that mvp one which was 85 overall with 26 levels this card is is starting off at 84 overall with 21 levels so it's actually quite a poor version of him now the only thing with this guy is i'm not really going to spend too much time in him because of his d form i have done the mvp review of jesus so go back and check out that and it will be pretty much identical because these cards are identical we also have Gnabry. Again, I don't really spend too much time when I'm doing the training guides on these players. Um, you know what you're getting with any of these wingers, lads. If the wingers are able to get to like 90 in the main three stats, right, then you know what you're going to be getting with them. This guy doesn't have that speedness and stamina, but he does have the ball control and dribbling. So I wouldn't train him that way. We will see how I'm going to train him. He does have some very unique player skills as well um, that make him kind of interesting enough. 
Uh, we also have Barella. This guy is going to feature in his own video, lads, because he is one of the best box to boxes in the game. I definitely think if you spin him, look out for my training guide. That will be coming today. He, he's a monster, man. And I was kind of down on this guy for a while um, where, you know, everyone was kind of saying to me, he's the best, he's the best, he's the best. And I always kind of held out that I did like, you know, Goretzka a little bit more. Um, but I do think now that uh, my opinion on him might have might have changed. And I'll tell you why when I'm doing the training guide. But you can just see there a little tease of it, especially with the player skills. He is probably the pick of the pack. And then we've also got Kunde. We have got Goretzka, my one of my favorite CMFs in the game. And we also have Casemiro. So the three of these boys, if you do spin them, they are 100% worth getting. And I'll show you why, right? So this French version of Kunde has 85 overall when he started off and he had 18 levels. This guy is practically identical, right? Now, there was an MVP kind of uh, nominating contract version of him there as well, which is 85 with 19 levels. But this guy had less defensive awareness and less aggression, as well as pretty much everything else less there because he had that extra player level that you needed to eat up with that. So I do think that the French version um, was probably the best that they had released. But this guy has this this version of him has got better aggression. It also has less passing and less finishing, but you don't need finishing and passing with this card, right? You know what I mean? That's not going to be something that you worry about. So this card is the best version of Kunda that they have released. In my opinion, I think he's going to be an absolute monster. He's got three plus aggression, which is going to bring his stats insane levels. Like we will do a player guide on him because he's probably one of the best players in it. We also have Goretzka. When you track him up, Goretzka with his standard version, 82 overall with 29 levels. This guy's got 85 overall uh, with 25 levels. And the packs that they had released him before, this is the one I had, the Marvelous Midfielders. It's pretty much identical to that one. So the only difference between the Marvelous Midfielders and this version of Goretzka that we have here and this one is the fact that the passing, the dribbling, and the balance are slightly mixed around. And I would say that this is probably the best version of him uh, as a box-to-box -box. And Goretzka is probably one of my favorite players in the game, lads. So we will get into that as well. And then, last but not least, we do have um, we do have Casemiro, who is always going to be somebody that I, you know, love to play with. Um, does this card kind of like does this card stack up with the other cards? I mean, I think he's had seven or eight cards in the game so far. He starts off at an eighty-six overall with um, twenty. What is it? Twenty-three levels to go. And previous versions of his cards have been quite interesting, right? So we've had a load of versions of his card. The standard version and this card here were released kind of first. This one here was the free nominating contract one. 21 levels at 86 overall. He had less passing and better physical contact. But this card, this Manchester United style card, the Derby Day, was 85 overall with only 21 levels. And this card that we have here is 86 overall with 20, 23 levels to go, right? So the way that these cards are now working is they've kind of balanced them with the other cards that have released before. But even with this card here, right, you're looking at this guy. He's a very good card and he was probably the best version of Casemiro that they had released before that. Obviously, his player of the week one was a monster as well. But this one was a monster, right? But this card actually only has better physical contact, but less tackling than this card. So this has now become, I would say, the best version of Casemiro. Um, and we're going to train him up as well. So look, if you do get, in my opinion, we will be doing training guides. But if you do get uh, Casemiro, Barella, Jesus, Zinchenko, Shaw, uh, Goretzka, or Kunde, And then I would probably throw in Fafano, Fafana and yeah that's probably it they would be the guys that i would look at getting that could be you know into your squad right so this has been a longer than usual video lads uh we will be back with the training guides quite soon i'm going to be doing training guides with multiple versions for the different players i'm going to show you why some of these players are absolute monsters and um, they are well balanced and well tracked track up well against the standard versions of the cards and previous versions of the cards like as i said if you've got casemiro barella um goretzka and kunda in your squad like i don't think i'd spin because i don't think that the cards are that much better but if you are looking to upgrade i think some of these versions of the cards are definitely the best that they have released so that is it for me lads obviously there's 16 players so we need to spend a little bit more time on it we will be doing training guides for the top six of these and i will be back in quite uh, a soon time so yeah i'll talk to you in a bit peace don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you're going to spin or skip